I now have faith and love again. Since I met Rose, I, I want to look young for her. I really want to kiss Rose. I really do. I do not believe in love. If you've been anywhere on the internet at any point within the past month, then you recognize this guy. He appears on the TLC reality TV show 90 Day Fiance, and he's a massive part of why it's become so popular lately. I mean, look at this shit. Even Frankie Muniz is watching it now. If you've never seen the show or you don't know what it's about, it's basically a hostage situation where a bunch of old, lonely, desperate Americans try to hook up with someone younger than them from another country, and the person from the other country just wants to get to America, but first they need to put up with a bunch of bullshit first, like, like this shit. I mean, I've never even seen anyone look more uninterested in another person. It's pretty easy to assume that most of the couples don't work out in the long run and that the person was just using them to get to America and if you assume that you'd be 100% correct because that's what happens like 100% of the time. And then when the American person finds out that the person from the other country has been using them, they act all surprised as if this wasn't the fucking concept of the show to begin with. You walked away from me. Yeah. I'm here trying to talk to you. You know, it's just because I'm better than you. I don't do no, it back to not. you. No, it's not. You're a user, Muhammad. You used me. You told me what I wanted to hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You're telling me that this guy wasn't actually in love with this woman and that he was just using her to get to America? No. That, that's impossible. You backstab me this whole time! But in the case of Big Ed here, it's a little bit different. This is true love. Oh my god. What the fuck was that sound? Uh, what? Oh my god. You're so real. You're so beautiful. Oh my god. It starts out alright, it's very romantic in the beginning, but Big Ed knows how to ruin almost everything. Last night we made love. It was awesome. Let's put it this way, I'm not only on cloud nine, but I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> I <laughs> think she enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, I think she enjoyed it, but that doesn't really matter. I enjoyed it. That's what matters. But she doesn't like my beard. Can I have a kiss? Mm. Um, don't be mad at me, but um, last night when I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine, <laughs> they were hairy. What? Yeah. Leg hair. It just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. Yeah, I don't, I don't like leg hair. It's gross. And this is coming from a guy who does this shit. Because Rose is 31 years younger than me. I smell like an egg salad sandwich, but it really, really works. I just want to look young for Rose. Well, if you want to look young, the first thing you got to do is put mayo in your hair and then a condom on your head. I mean, he looks like the goddamn Vermin Supreme's bodyguard. So it's soft. Your legs will be soft like my skin. Mm. Come on. Mm. Either that or you kiss me. Mm. No, 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 guys. Okay, okay. I like how he uses that as a threat. It's like, hey, either you kiss the person you're supposed to be in love with or you go shave your legs. And she chooses to go shave her legs while he watches from the bed like Jabba the Hutt. How are you feeling, huh? Last night was awesome. I think the champagne really got her excited. Nice, so the first time you guys made love, she had to get drunk first. That's that's nice. I am worried about meeting her sister, Mar Maria, because of the fact that she asked for money. Dude, you're four foot seven and you look like the matchmaker from Mulan. If there's anything you can actually provide for this family, it's a little bit of money, dude. Come on, fork it over already. This is, this is crazy. Pajamas, I think these are pajamas. The fact that Rose doesn't even have pajamas made me feel really sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get her pajamas. This woman lives in a shack without a roof, infested with rats, and he's worried about her having no pajamas. She's actually grateful and happy for the things she has, whereas he spends one day there and loses his goddamn mind. I'm just in a swarm of hot, sweaty people. Hmm, it looks to me like the people are caught in a swarm of sweaty Big Ed. In fact, he's the only one in this entire image that's sweating. Uh. <laughs> Okay, 
God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thought you were all hot and sweaty, Ed. Don't you want some water? Nice. This has to be the weirdest experience of my life. Are those chicks? Are those chickens? Yeah, these are chicken. There are chickens in America, There's Ed. Chickens. You should know what that is. There's chickens? Yeah. Oh my god. Rose, what is that? I did a mouse. Come on, Ed. You never seen a cute little mouse before? It's a mouse or a rat? I, I think so. I'm excited naman ako na makita ni Ed yung baboyan dito. Oh, take care yourself. Okay. I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea to bring this guy to a pig farm to work. He's one of the most uncoordinated people I've ever seen. And because of that whole neck situation he's got going on, he needs to turn his whole body in order to turn his head. Yeah, this is fun. No, tell him I had a lot of fun. So I wanted to take a vacation for a couple of days with Rose, if you're okay with that. Look at them both towering above the little guy. He looks like a, a little kid who's about to be punished by his parents, and his punishment is he needs to put bags on his feet and work in the pig farm all day and night. For some reason, Ed strikes me as the type of person who's never done any sort of physical work in his life at any point, ever. <laughs> Okay lang, basta alagaan mo siya ng, ano? Just, um... Ayos. To be honest, most of the time it feels like she's taking care of him. The guy's four feet tall and he can't turn his head. If a fight were to ever break out, she would probably be the one protecting him. Can you imagine him in a fight? I mean, he might be able to handle that bagel boss guy, but that's, that's about it. Oh my god. Where are we? Palawan. Oh my god. So, um... I got some surprises. So this is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. Wow, Ed, you really outdone yourself this time. A cute toothbrush? Is it built good? I'm cute, though. Built good. One of the first things I noticed, even at the airport, you know, was her breath. But I didn't know how to bring it up. And I don't think she realizes it. But I do. My concern is your health. Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You can get sick. I know she doesn't speak English fluently, but he's talking to her like she's four. From my heart, I care about you. He says he cares about her, but he started off by saying it was bothering him that her breath smelled bad. So it was, it was pretty much just about him being comfortable. Also, he easily could have just told her politely or carefully that her breath smelled bad and maybe off camera. But what he chose to do was give her a toothbrush and mouthwash as a present. Imagine being in a relationship with someone. They're like, hey, I got you a present. And they're like, oh, that's so thoughtful. What is it? Oh, it's some mouthwash because you smell like shit. I'm so assaulted that I want to give a pants to Ed. And I feel embarrassed. Love you. I love you. Pangit mo. I love you. Pangit mo. Her breath may smell bad, but you look like the penguin. Today, I planned a small excursion to a little island where there's a national park, and we're gonna look at really cute monkeys. I'm really excited. He's excited. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward like 15 seconds. These weren't the cute monkeys that I was expecting. First, I was kind of excited, but then I realized that we were surrounded by probably 10 or 15 monkeys staring at us, staring at me. Hi. They're probably staring at you because they've never seen a human being that looks like you. Look, you can even tell that one's thinking, is that, is that Big Ed? My pants. Monkey. He want the food. <laughs> I like monkey. I love monkey. He got my banana. This guy's always terrified and uncomfortable by everything, and she usually just stands to the side laughing at him. He don't want monkey, I know. I think this is funny. Relax only. <coughs> always relax. Don't be scared. I didn't know he would attack me. They're not attacking you. They're just trying to take your food, dude. I'm terrified. I'm worried about getting bit or, or scratched. I don't like the monkeys anymore. I don't like them. So last night, remember, you... You are talking about... You wanted more kids, but having more kids is not something that I want. Isn't this something you should have established earlier, given the situation and the age difference between you two? Before I came to see you in the Philippines, I had scheduled two appointments to have an operation. It's called a vasectomy. What? I can't, I, I do, I do not understand. There is an operation in here where it's a, it's a snip snip. 
Snip snap, snip snap, snip snap. So she doesn't know what a vasectomy is, and he explains it as a snip snap down here. So she's probably like, so what are you gonna cut your penis off? It's a, it's a snip snip. That is the majority of the Big Ed footage, so you are pretty much caught up now. It isn't exactly the most romantic love story. It, it really isn't a love story at all, but it does, it does exist, and I think the entire internet is grateful for that. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, go give Ed a follow on TikTok.